Okay, just going to do a demonstration of the uh, new turntable. It's an ADM turntable, um, supplied by a guy called Alistair out of England. Um, really, really schmick bit of gear, as I'll show you. It's based on a Pico uh, turntable, but underneath is, uh, is quite special and um, fully customised and built by uh, Alistair. Really nice guy to deal with. Um, so I'm going to go through with the sound locomotive here um, and the operation of it just to show you it turns around and keeps the sand and everything like that on. So we'll turn some sound on. And we'll, um, I'll show you for a start. Um, it's on track four at the moment. Um, see it lines up with any track we'll put in. If I just go to track two, it will just run across to track two, which is this one. They're just sitting there at the moment, so it's only uh, only just for demonstration purposes. Nothing of that's wired up, so I won't run it over there. And track one is the uh, is the, the incoming track, so I'll uh, I'll stick it around track one. And it starts and stops nice and slowly. It lines up perfectly. So I'll. Um, I'll move the loco forward. And we'll just spin it around 180 degrees and you can hear hopefully that the uh, sound stays on. I'll put some other sounds through there so you can hear it. It's coming around now. And we'll move off the turntable again in the forward direction. So as you can see, it's absolutely faultless, um, keeps the sound all the time. Pretty much every other turntable on the market can't do that because it does have to reverse the polarity even for the DCC on the way around. So um, pretty uh, pretty good unit, um, pretty bloody happy with it too. Easy to program to all the different tracks and uh, next video I'll have it set up properly with the tracks in and out of it and everything leveled properly and, um, and give it a good demo with a few of the different locos on there.